Hey everyone, in this video we are going to solve a very interesting question. If n choose 4, n choose 5 and n choose 6 are in arithmetic progression, then n can be. So this question is asking about what values of n these three numbers are in AP. So let's find the values of n. So for that, let's recall that this number n choose 4, n choose 5, n choose 6, these are in AP that means n choose 5 minus n choose 4 is equal to some d and n choose 6 minus n choose 5 is equal to d where this d is the common difference right because we have given that these three numbers are in AP, right? So, from here we have n choose 5 minus n choose 4 is same as this D and which is same as n choose 6 minus n choose 5, right? So, just simplify this. So, n choose 5 plus n choose 5 is equal to n choose 6 plus n choose 4, right? That means what? This is 2 times n choose 5 is equal to n choose 6 plus n choose 4. Now let's write this. So it is 2 times what is n choose 5? This is n factorial divided by 5 factorial times n minus 5 factorial which is equal to n choose 6 is n factorial divided by 6 factorial times n minus 6 factorial plus n factorial divided by 4 factorial times n minus 4 factorial right and now let's cancel the factorial terms so we can cancel this n factorial so this is 2 divided by 5 factorial times n minus 5 factorial is equal to 1 by 6 factorial n minus 6 factorial plus 1 divided by 4 factorial times n minus 4 factorial right and now here we can write this n minus 5 factorial as n minus 5 times n minus 6 factorial similarly this n minus 4 factorial as n minus 4 times n minus 5 times n minus 6 factorial now we can cancel this n minus 6 factorial right and we have 2 divided by 5 factorial times n minus 5 is equal to 1 divided by 6 factorial plus 1 divided by 4 factorial times n minus 4 times n minus 5 right and now we can cancel this 4 factorial also so this is 5 into 4 factorial right and this is 6 into 5 into 4 factorial so this cancels and we have 2 by 5 times n minus 5 is equal to 1 divided by 30 1 divided by n minus 4 times n minus 5 now multiply throughout by n minus 5 we get 2 divided by 5 is equal to n minus 5 divided by 30 plus 1 divided by n minus 4 right and now just multiply by 30 throughout this equation so we have 12 is equal to n minus 5 plus 30 divided by n minus 4 now multiply throughout by n minus 4 so this is 12 times n minus 4 is equal to n minus 5 times n minus 4 plus 30 right and just simplify this so this is 12 n minus 48 n square minus 9 n plus 20 plus 30 and therefore we have n square minus 21 n plus 98 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation and we can find its roots right so what are the roots so clearly 14 times 7 is 98 and 
their addition is 21 so we can write this as 14n minus 7n plus 98 is equal to 0 and this gives us n minus this 7 n minus 14 is equal to 0 that means n minus 14 times n minus 7 is equal to 0 and so n is equal to 7 and 14 so that means for these two values 7 and 14 we have this n choose 4 n choose 5 and n choose 6 these three numbers are in ap